The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, the Divas Champion, Nikki Bella. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. I'm looking at her right now and I'm watching her body language and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea. Judgment Day has arrived for the entire women's division. Yeah, Ripley was already a dominant competitor, but that dominance has grown exponentially since joining the Judgment Day. She's already held the NXT Women's title, the WWE Women's Tag Titles, and the Raw Women's title. What could be next for Ripley? Call her the Nightmare, call her the Eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. Rhea Ripley in the ring and ready to get things going here. She certainly lives up to the Nightmare moniker. You're not too looking at it early. And she kicks out. Early attempts rarely pay off, but they do wear down your opponent. Basement drop kick. Nikki Bella with a nice reversal. What a close line. Good grief. This isn't going to be pretty. Hangman's neck breaker. Gosh. Rhea had that scouted. There goes Ripley set to the outside hard. She's taking things to ringside. She responds with a counter. Joke oh. She's staying elusive. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Oh my God, what an elbow. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Hooked up. Ah, oh, shit breaker. Gets out of there in a hurry. And we know what that means. You can look, but you can't. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. And a well executed move we just saw there. I have to wonder, Corey, what do you think is going to be the deciding factor in this matchup? Ultimately, I think this one's going to come down to endurance, to who has more resilience. Nikki's so strong and so physically impressive, but that doesn't mean she can go forever. If she gets worn out, she could be in real trouble. Stop. Waste in no time, get things started early, and uh oh, wait a second. It's gonna be a busy night for this superstar. Back into the lion's den we go. Hurting the 
shoulder. Can she do it here? Oh, somehow! Not time to expect victory yet. Just punishing her opponent. She sent flying into the corner, right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Looking to work the arm with that. That offense really hitting her hard. And this fight goes on Rhea reaching new levels of brutality. Oh, stomping away. Quickly, the cover! She was close to the end there. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. From the top. Nothing going Nikki Bella's way right now. And you have to hand it to her. Her endurance is paying off against Nikki Bella. Staying strong and trying to wear Bella out. Whoa. Rhea was just a step behind there. Jumping snap there. What a move. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Oh, smash! <laughs> I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. And that was an effective attack, guys. Nikki Bella sees an opportunity. From the top! Are you kidding me? Cover! Two count! Almost ended it there. She just will not go away. Ripley is square in her sights. Nikki's got... Uh oh. Nikki Bella fights back. Ah. Nikki with the ball and a basket. The cunning Nikki executing perfectly there. Gosh, what a match. Display of power by Nikki Bella. And a rack attack. 2.0. Will Nikki seal the deal? Down. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. That was amazing. The word quit is not in Rhea Ripley's vocabulary. Nikki Bella not used to losing, but also no stranger to hard work. This will only make her double her efforts. Arms trap. Just unloading knees to the bottom. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. There is no... Whoa! Oh, my gosh! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Oh, look at this. Showing off with a big flex. And then a... There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? from Rhea Ripley. Yeah, Nikki has to plot a way to get back into this. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. <laughs> Brutality on the mind of Ripley. Getting ready. She flips it back up. And Nikki finding the attack at a crucial time. Nikki Bella just emptying the tank for one last push. Oh, oh, oh. 
Uh oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Oh, what a kick. Nikki has her lined up. Nikki looking to end this. Hazardous situation for Ripley. Two. And that will be it. Finally a victory. What a hard fought win. Here is your winner, Nikki Bella. Sad to say this result isn't going to change things on the disrespect front anytime soon. This is what I've been telling you and Saxton all along, Cole. It doesn't have to be pretty as long as you win. Sure, they were disrespectful earlier on. They won. In fact, it was that. All hail Zelina. Queen Zelina Cole. Put some respect on the crown's name. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Carmella from Queens, New York. One half of the women's tag team champions, Queen Zelina. Queen Zelina possesses over a decade of experience in the ring. Yeah, you may not like her attitude, but Queen Zelina is a true student of the game. She knows every trick in the book, and knowing those tricks has brought her great success. What is wrong with Queen Zelina's attitude, Saxton? You sound like a real peasant. Give me about four hours and I'll tell you. J.C. Jane, Gigi Dolan, Toxic Attraction is here, and they look amazing. And accompanied by Gigi Dolan, representing Toxic Attraction from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. Dolan and Jane, Toxic Attraction, one of the few teams to hold NXT Women's Tag Titles on multiple occasions. Yeah, they're never shy about telling people about it either. Oh, Saxton, you should be happy that two women who look like this would ever even talk to you. J.C. Jane, Gigi Dolan, two women at the top of their game. Two great competitors on their own, but together they are dominating the women's tag team division. That's the bell, and J.C. Jane is set for competition here tonight. Lover or hater, J.C. Jane is not afraid to get down and dirty against her opponents. Not afraid to get physical. Yeah, that physicality of Jane should be on display in this one, guys. But what about Zelina Vega? Talk about cold and calculating. 
What about her, Saxton? She's beauty, she's grace, she'll punch you in the face. Take notice of Zelina or face her fury. Oh, quite an effective counter. Oh, look at this. Airpulled net slam. Ooh, treading off. Can she keep her down? Kick out just in time. Wow. Superstar, so hopefully she sticks to what she knows and does best. I understand the impulse to prove the jealous haters wrong, but the worst thing Jane could do out here is attempt to reach outside her comfort zone and fall into a precarious position. I agree, Corey. That's a rookie mistake Jane would be smart to avoid. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. She's beginning to flag a little. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Gonna wear it down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Kick to the back. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a set. Will this be it? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Drop kick to the back. Slam. Mistake made by Jane. Went into the corner now. Quick thinking from JC. Last step there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. Big splash. And I could assure you that wasn't part of Zelina's usual cold and calculating strategy. Yeah, that that physicality we talk about from Jane. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, DDT. Zelina's hopes are waning. And Jane's been sticking to her comfort zone, and look how it's paying off. That's what brought her to the dance, people. Ah, oh, look at this. She can end it here. Gets the shoulder up loud. What's it going to take? Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Oh. Somersault cutter. JC Jane proving just how tough she is there. Physicality at its finest. Oh, and she got out of there. Massacre. Watch out. Somersault plancha to the floor. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bell. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now's the time to keep the pressure on. Whip back into the ring. Slingshot. Slingshot neckbreaker. Nice. Break to the leg. She turns it right around with a counter. That should do it right there. Oh, kick out. How did she do that? I can't believe it. The people can't believe it. I don't think the 
believe it. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Up high. Is it enough? The cover digging deep for a kick out. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. From the top, she comes up empty. Hooked up, DDT. Measured kick to the vertebrae. and pains are going to be a reminder of this win for days to come. Here we have Natalia, who has taken to considering and calling herself the boat. That's the best of all time. Natalia is definitely an exceptional talent, Michael, with an exceptional pedigree, hailing from the legendary Hart family. But I don't know about all this boat business. You have to admit, though, she has a fair claim to being one of the pillars of WWE's women's division, and she likes to remind everyone of that fact. But she'll have to maintain her composure as she's going up against a woman with a penchant for getting under her opponent's skin. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Measured up. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. And able to beat Natalia to the punch. Natalia, one of the most experienced members of the WWE roster. How does her opponent work against that? You know, for as talented as she is, it's a quick finish. Can she do it? Making sure to get her shoulder up after two. Well, that might have been closer than she thought it would be. Oh! Stop to the gut, too. <laughs> oh, foot just stomping down. Yeah. Got it down with force. Look out. Barrel roll, Tope. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And a big time knee drop. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. And that's cooler heads prevailing here, coming at Natalia from a place of level headedness and focus. Set up power bomb. That was one of those power bombs 
moves that would shorten someone's career. She manages to get control. Oh, shaking power slam. Surveying the scene. Oh, the knee drop connects. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's going to hurt. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. And in this tag team bout, it's going to be Caden Carter and Katana Chance. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Theo Sky and Dakota Kai. You know this is a tough match for superstars who don't play well with others. You really need to find a way to properly mix your skills with your partners. And one more for good measure. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. There's a tag. All right, that's it. Great counter. A running Hurricane Rana. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh, not everyone can do that. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, right to the back. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world. She's looking at it early. She slips out of the pin before three. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. And she'll get sent out the hard way. Oh. Oh. Cross the top rope all the way to the floor. Wow, oh, look at that back slam. She's taking some big hits here. Well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael, and I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. Jumping snapmare! What a move! And that prevents any offense from Dakota. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Uh oh, she could be setting up for a submission here. Uh, Black Widow locked in tight. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Tags are so important in a match like this to keep fresh. 
Dakota wards off the attack. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! Got the tag. Got the tag. takes control. Get back here. Leg Lariat. Shoulders down. And she breaks the count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Paying it right back with a reversal. Textbook leg sweep. Nicely done. She catches Katana with a counter. She's pushed into the corner. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Bench chop. Oh my gosh. No tarantula locked in. Torturous. Ball oh, straight forward. She got the shoulders down. And the kill stopped short of two. Amazing effort by her. She's sent to the outside. Two. Right on point. Jeez, oh, you might break a neck that way. She might be in some trouble now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. <laughs> Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold, wow! And there's the save. Dakota Kai, kick to the ribs. Kai Did Kai just put an end to this? Oh my god! There's the tag. Double Irish whip. Spine. She goes to the outside now. I think she's starting to get worried. Oh, did you hear the sound that made? Oh, right to the leg. Oh, straight forward. She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, not looking good at all. Position for chance. She saw it coming. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the roll head scissors. Face buster. Katana perched up top. If this lands, it's over. Competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Kai sent and look at this. Amazing face breaker by Chance. Chance can seal it here. Cover. Two. And the kick out. The perseverance of EO has only grown stronger with that kick out. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Oh, with a drop kick to the knee. The end is looming now. Yeah, 
she's in a rough spot now. Seated bionic elbow. And a tag there. Here's a tag. Two work so well together. Big hip toss. And a kick to boot. Oof. Oh, and she turns it around. And oh, now, my God, what a forearm. Look at his jaw. And Bell hit it away. for wear in the corner now. Nice counter for Chance. And impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Kick right to the leg. Reverso, can they go on the attack? Great job refocusing to reverse that. Oh! Double Dane. A hip toss. Insult the injury. The stop it, she's got it. Got her shoulders down. Maybe not. Whoa, the height on the moonsault. from this duo. These two are looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division.
Wrestling is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. She cannot afford to let Bianca Belair purchase real estate in her mind. Not if she wants any chance of taking down the EST. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh-uh, um, Corey, not just great, the greatest. Get it? Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I'd call that dancing. Bianca Belair getting things out of the way here. Definitely a superstar who impresses the WWE Universe every time she steps through those ropes. It's not hard to see why, Michael. She's not a normal superstar. She's the EST. This is where the work begins for Bianca to overcome and prove herself to be the best. Absolutely, Byron. That hunger to constantly prove herself is what has made Bianca such a formidable opponent. And let's hope she's ready to face off against the physically dominant Raquel Rodriguez. I don't know how anyone can prepare for her, Saxton. Raquel has proven that not only is she one of the strongest superstars on the women's roster, but she's also one of the most malicious. Malicious power slam. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Two. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Three. And a slam. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. the neck and Raquel looked like a tamed animal after that offense yeah Belair is proving herself to everyone now man this is about as close as you can cut it they're playing with fire here Bianca Belair just goading her opponent Bianca snatches her over is it even a near fall there. His body lock applied. Squeezing all the breath out of their opponent. And Raquel's resolve might be wavering here. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Raquel's confidence? From way up. Rodriguez with a nice turnaround. The better part of Valor. And 
there's still a lot of game left here. She's enduring some damage. Big time power slam. Set up in the corner of the ring. Couple hard shots there in the corner. Now looking to raise the stakes. Head up. Corkscrew sent on. The end was in sight. Taking it outside the ring now. Sent straight into the barricade. Able to avoid there. Lands face first. Able to reverse that one. in the win column, especially one like that.
These are three superstars who know how unpredictable triple threat matches are. So you might see some caution with Becky Lynch, Roxanne Perez, and Asuka. The significance of this match being no countouts or disqualifications can't be understated. Not only do you have to worry about a second opponent, but you gotta worry about your adversaries fighting dirty and it being perfectly legal. Oscar retaliates. Hooked up and Samoan driver. There it is. And a back explode. Set crashing to the floor. Round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Trap in the arm. STO. Oh, blow to the bread basket. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Oh, what a kick. And a kick to the back. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So, be creative. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Oh, the face breaker. Snapmare takedown. across and an elbow drop to the arm. Asuka looking uneasy now. She's far from beating any of these three women could win this. Fisherman suplex. Becky Lynch setting up for the, the back exploder. And Lynch was scouted there. German suplex. <laughs> Becky holds her off. She did her homework there. Ooh, great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, that kick. Right on the money. Then suplex released. Goes into the pin. Two count and a kick out at two. No celebrations yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Need a midsection. And a kick to the back. Picture perfect takedown. of that one from all the way over here. Caught the leg and makes them pay. Watch her set up in the corner. Right to the kidneys from behind. Now Asuka set to the outside with authority. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. She's going under the ring now, and they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Ducking out of trouble. Oku driver. It's deep, but I don't think it's playable. And Becky anticipated that. That last attack pushed on the limits of. Oh no, there could be trouble working for her with this submission maneuver. Got cinched in. Pressure being applied in this head crank. Oh man, we're 
Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Right to the kidneys from behind. What a hit from Oscar. Back elbow. Blows that one up. And this might not have a pleasant ending. it more. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. It's an open driver. Wow. Targeting the net. Oh, down on the neck breaker. Locked in. This would be breaking it up at the last second. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Elbow smash. Oh no! Not with the back. Hold on. Oscar turns it around, using the elbow as a weapon. These two training characters in an absolute masterclass. And Perez. Oh, pop rocks. Will Perez take advantage? Makes the cut. There's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Now her DDT. She's looking for the win. Oh. Both competitors digging into wells they didn't even know existed. Oscar could be moments away from her end. Becky Lynch looking to embarrass her opponent. Snap in takedown. Oh, what a badass kick. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. And Rock. 
Roxanne being aligned into position. Oh, look at Becky! That's gotta do it. That's gotta be it. The admiration for the super. Becky with the takedown. Looking for the disarmor. Can she cinch it in? Disarmor! It's gotta be over! Asuka! I've never seen it's over! She couldn't hang on! She gets her! Becky Lynch gets the win! Here is your winner, Becky Lynch! This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all, with one breaking away from the pack in the most dominant way possible. What a match! What a win! Charlotte Flair is the self-proclaimed queen of WWE, a title that aptly describes the illustrious career she's had here and the superior attitude she takes toward her fellow competitors. The queen's reign here has been impressive, to say the least. A truly royal competitor who is head and shoulders above the rest of the rabble in the locker room. Charlotte deserves all the riches she's earned here. Laying it on a little thick there, Corey, but there really is no arguing against Charlotte's dominance inside the ring. But as the champ, they have to know that there's a list in the locker room a mile long of people who want what they have. Exhibit A, right there in the ring with them, right now. Oh yeah, they've been waiting. Sky high. High impact missile drop kick. Whoa, Charlotte waylays her. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Corey, what would you advise Charlotte to focus on in this match? Look, the Queen doesn't need anyone's advice, but she can't go wrong by maintaining her deliberate, methodical approach in the ring. Oh, impressive counter. A sidewalk slam. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. This is just establishing dominance, followed by stock. Oh, dead whip. Sit up, powerbomb. Not yet. Oh, my dragon screw targeting the ankle. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. All right, that's it. Ooh, she just turned it around. Yeah. Big form. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Oh, my. Top rope. Here we go. On the top. Whoa, what a landing. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Battle of the metal right now. Thrown back into the ring. Red suplex, making it look easy. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. And that could do Charlotte. There have been some amazing robberies throughout history, but this one may be the most heated we've ever seen. Yeah, Byron, they may have taken this to a level many have never seen before. Well scouted by Charlotte. Just endless knee strikes. Looking bad for her here. The Queen landing an impressive attack, trying to dominate the opposition. Flair retaliating. Ah, uh, Charlotte, so impressive, so powerful. Look at a backpack stunner. Countered it just in time. Oh, solid kick. 
kick across the back. the climb all the way to the top. Charlotte Flair boots up. This is what true royalty looks like. Charlotte with an attack worthy of a queen. So, this is game in the face. Will she take advantage? Makes the cover. Oh, she's still alive. This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope your next big move is the last one. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. Man, this place is jumping. Yeah. Right under. Uh oh. Counter by Charlotte. A handstand into a double knee drop. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. And there's Charlotte finding the energy to keep attacking. Yes, yeah, Charlotte is giving her all as this match continues on. Charlotte Flair with a trademark chopping natural selection. Bow to the crowd, it's over. is unreal, preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. And guys, we know Charlotte, this is only going to make her more aggressive. To dare kick out when she's ready to finish things, not good. Uh-oh. Cross body. Whoa. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. And that definitely made solid impact. This is an unyielding attack from Charlotte. Charlotte displaying all of her ability. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Ouch! Oh, oh, smash! Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh, he's right. Fall-away slam! Counters! Setting herself up top. Taking flight. Oh my gosh. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Placing them into the corner. 
The Queen putting in the work in the corner, making the climb to the top rope. Moonsault now. The second time. Standing moonsault. That's got to be it. There's two. Man, what an upset. An absolute upset. I am in disbelief. I still don't know if what we saw was oh. real. That was uncalled for. This superstar has completely lost it. And we begin with a very unique Nikita Lyons, who has really taken the WWE Universe by storm as of late. Nikita doesn't fit any mold in WWE, and that's clearly her advantage. She's a modern version of a wrestling powerhouse, and in today's women's division, she has a lot of opportunity in front of her. No doubt, a bright future ahead if she can capitalize. And with Lacey Evans, you have a superstar who seems more concerned with appearances than she does in-ring antics. But do not let that fool you. Lacey Evans is about as dangerous as they come with a mean streak to boot. Yeah, Lacey Evans is the picture of discipline in pinup model form. Nikita Lyons is one of the most physically impressive superstars in the women's locker room. Corey, how do you formulate an attack plan for someone so physically dominant? Despite all of her assets, Cole, Lyons is relatively hoping to end it here. And the shoulder gets up in time. That count was a bit too close for comfort. Oh, well, that got turned around on Evans. Sit-out slam. Oof. Up high and bionic elbow driven. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Ooh, look at her answering back. And she heads to the floor to think of her next move. Well, time for some deep breaths. Fisherman suplex. And right there, Evans finds out she's not the only dangerous and disciplined competitor in this match. Lions capitalized on the opportunity. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Three. Nikita telling her opponent to bring it on. From way up. Whoa, look out. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Lions is wasting no motion. Lacey has to find an opening and respond. Lacey fends that off. Lions counters. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put it into her. Oh my God, that's got to hurt. She's sent back in under the ropes. Knee strike. Nikita looking for the high risk move. Taking flight. Nobody home for that one. Big form. Now it's a test of will. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. 
Hopefully this is she covers for the pin. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Delivers a well-placed hip attack. She was clearly waiting for that. What a pump kick. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. The lady wakes up by Lacey. Looking up for her right now. I don't like where this is going, and I'm so high up. Counter on Lions. Close line delivered. to feel good for her. Wait, what? Oh, and she's oh, not done. So good not, she wants oh. to relive it. I expected better from her. Well, guess what, Byron? Your dreams were shattered.
She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Ow! She won the Women's Royal Rumble the night she returned to WWE and is once again dominant. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. And from Miami, Florida, the Alliance Eastern Wrestling and Television Champion, Jane Carr. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. The champ knows that a big win tonight sends a message to all of the top contenders. confident superstar. She's a champ, and she knows it. I just hope she's not overconfident. When you're a champion, opponents are twice as motivated to try and get the win over you. You're right about that, but she seems ready for whatever this match might hold. And then you've got Ronda Rousey, who made a name for herself in the UFC as the baddest woman on the planet. If that doesn't send a message to her opponents here in WWE, I don't know what possibly could. How about the way she grinds them down until they submit via any way Ronda sees fit? And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. She's fighting back. Tearing down the leg now. Uh -oh. This tossed their opponent. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. And that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now. It might limit range of motion in the entire arm. Superb awareness countering Rousey. Ronda obviously has a lot of tricks up her sleeve, but what exactly do you think will be the key to her success here tonight? I know everyone's mind automatically goes to Rousey's submissions, but I'd say the actual key is relying on her quickness. Rousey is so quick. When the slightest opportunity presents itself, she'd do best to capitalize ASAP. Oh, not pretty. She's got the shoulders down. And she kicks out. And her opponent isn't going to hand her a fast win. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. And a stomp right to the back. And Rousey there being shown she's not the only one who can grind down an opponent. She can withstand the punishment, though. Knee lift to the body. Nice. Rousey to the top. Flying through the air and connects. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh, look at this. Show it off with a big flex. And then a kick to the back. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Things look bad, and they're about to get worse. Dump them to the floor. There's actually no regard for your opponent's safety when you toss them to the outside like that. From the top, quick thinking pays off. Oh, man. They're going to apply an agonizer. 
Rising arm bar stretch. Punishing stretch. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. She's got an answer for that. Elbow drop right on point. And she slides her back to the mat. Waist lock. And shoulders are down. Two count. She kicks out with authority after two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Knee to the midsection into the pump handle. Here we go. X Factor. Signaling that playtime is over with that one. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Throws her back in from ringside. a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. And heavy hands to follow. Now she able to grab her opponent, and uh-oh, the arm bar is locked in. You feel like hope is starting to fade away right now. Trying to somehow maneuver their body out of this submission. Dropping bombs, and they're free. Double chicken wing applied. Slam slam! Nobody does that better. So does that. And she certainly earned it. This win might have put her ahead of the pack. She certainly grabbed the spotlight with this victory.